Hey guys, welcome back to another Catan video. Looks like we're going to be going in first position. Okay, well hey guys, I took a little bit of a break there. I'll explain why shortly, but let's take a quick look at this board. Okay, so do we want a premium wheat spot? If we take the wheat spot, we could take a 4105 build towards sheep port. Uh, how likely is someone going to try claiming this? I would say unlikely because, well... There's only one good sheep spot, it's down here, and if I take this, I'll block that. Leave me opening for 9-5 later on down the road. I, I'm kind of liking this spot. Okay, so for first position, I think I will take this. Getting decent ore, decent wheat, decent chance for more wheat. So, yeah, let's take this spot first. Okay, so it has been also a couple weeks since I played a uh, Catan match, so going to be a little bit rusty but decide to hop on Catan Universe because that is my preferred platform to play Catan and uh, I heard they had a couple of updates so let's hope that everything is fixed everything is looking or working smoothly so far interesting username with WW888 not sure how legit that is but there there it is I mean if you're picking a username it just looks like they just type random letters on the keyboard i mean two of the same well whatever all right so next we will need some brick and sheep hmm 11 10 3 uh or 8 8 3 4 i wonder if that's going to be left over for us i highly doubt it but it would be nice to get a really good uh brick spot so if we don't get that hmm Okay, yeah, Most odds of getting that were low anyways. 11, 10, 3, I mean, just securing our remaining resources. This could be, could be our play. Uh, if we don't get that, then maybe we're just forced to play some ore wheat sheep with low sheep. Hitting on this uh, 6, 11, 3. Not having any brick to, but then again, we could trade a little bit to get to where we need to be. And we still have down here. Uh, for ourselves, okay. We take nine, eleven, four. Hmm. Okay, so purple, you need brick, brick and cheap. Yeah, I feel like you're gonna take this. Yeah, it's not gonna be a good spot left for me. Hmm. I'm trying to think where else I could go. Yeah, really not much. After they take here. Oh, oh, and they decided to block. Wow. Okay. So the sheep board is really going to be useless for me if I take 9, 10, deuce. Yeah, they have no reason to do it. So I might as well take it and then expand up. The only reason I would take that is just to get more wheat. So yeah, I could see that being a possibility. Uh, we could also... Oh, you went there. Wow. Okay, so I need to go up and take better wheat. Dang. Okay, so that definitely messes with me. Yeah, we have to go here. And uh, we could expand up here for 834, play off of the wheat port. That's our next, next option. So yeah, let's, let's shoot for that. Someone left the game. Who was it? It was green. Interesting. Yeah, so let's... Build up this way. Okay, so we have a free road to expand up here. Now let's roll. We get a five. We get an ore for five. Okay, let's build this road here. Okay, so we're going to be battling red uh, for this spot. If they decide to go this direction, nine, we're getting a wood for nine. Okay, so you guys have may, may have noticed the sporadic uh, uploading schedule as uh, somebody in the comment section mentioned uh my latest video like you know they, they you guys apparently enjoy or this person enjoyed my content however the uploading schedule is a little bit of a bummer in which i totally get that totally get it if there was a youtuber i enjoyed watching and like he would go on like breaks randomly and uh break their uh uploading schedule i totally get how that could be really annoying oh man okay red and, you know, I, I apologize for that. Um, life gets pretty hectic. 
as a you know, first time dad. And what happened the past couple of weeks is my son has been like nonstop getting cold after cold. Um, so the first week that I didn't upload, he, he had a little bit of cold, uh, but we were able to manage, you know, take care of him, everything like that. And then the following week, as a result of that cold, he got an ear infection. Okay, so let's roll here. Seven. Okay, so we're obviously going to attack red here. They were looking for sheep. So we're going to block their sheep. I would say this is going to be their best chance of getting sheep. Do that. Take their wood. Okay. Um, let's try trading wood for brick in this spot. Okay, now how about, how about this? All right, targeting you mostly purple, but you you have a brick on 11s. I doubt it. Okay, might as well just uh, move along here. Okay, but yeah, week two, ear infection. Oh my goodness, they just got the brick that we needed. And you're expanding down green. Okay. Yeah, week two, ear infection. And that was an interesting experience. I never... Yeah, obviously had a sick child going through that, so a lot of discomfort. Um, antibiotics, is that what we got? Yeah, I think so. So I had to finish that, and getting them to take that was just a drag. Okay, so after he recovered from that, <laughs> week number three is uh, we all got the stomach bug. So um, I remember distinctly, like, waking up at around, ooh, nice, we got brick. Uh, 10 for wooden brick. Okay, so I remember like waking up 4 or 5-ish a.m. And uh, all of a sudden thinking like, oh my goodness, I feel I feel sick. Like I'm, I might get sick. Like I didn't know which end it was going to come out of. Well, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to power through and just try sleeping this off. So I tried sleeping it off. And oh, they got the sheep that they needed. Oh my goodness. Okay, not good. Not good. All right. So we don't need that as badly. So now we need to head down to try taking 9 5. But I feel like purple is going to build there and cancel us out. But even going down and uh, claiming a sheep spot, that wouldn't be a bad idea. You know, let's secure more ore. Try getting a city. Let's go up here. Okay. Uh,. Yeah, I went back to bed after thinking I'm going to get sick. And then about 20 or 30-ish minutes later, I woke up. I'm like, okay, it's going to happen. And then I like got up. I sat up and then like got out of bed and immediately started throwing up. And um, luckily there was a trash can there. Otherwise, I would have thrown up on the floor. Um, you know, wife woke up, everything like that. And then not too long after that, she started getting sick. And at that point, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to call off work. It's not, it's not going to be good. Um, and then uh, at, by that point, my son has woken up. My wife is still getting sick. And I was downstairs on the couch with him because uh, he seemed like he was uncomfortable as well. I'm like, oh, man, you just got through like, you know, two weeks of being sick. Doesn't seem like it'd be right for you to get another cold. So then uh, he was fussing, trying to wiggle himself off of me, and I just like stood him up in front of the couch in front of me, and he threw up also. So all three of us in the house within, I want to say a couple of hours, just like we're all just getting sick, and it was just an awful experience. Okay, so we're going to do a four-for-one trade, cheap. Um, yeah, do that. And then we're going to build settlement there. Um, yeah, within like, I would say two hours of each other, all of us were getting sick, right? And then uh, luckily uh, my wife was able to call her mother and she was able to come over and like help us out for a little bit. And um, she was able to call off work and such to help us in our desperate time of need. I. This has been like the, well, no, we struggle a lot during parenting. This is 
another one of those top five moments of struggle during parenting. All of us were sick, thrown up, just feeling awful. He had to throw up all over himself, had to change him in addition to trying not to get sick myself. My wife was getting sick in that moment, and it was just it was pure, pure chaos. And I wouldn't wish that on my <laughs> my worst enemy. Wouldn't wish that on anybody. Um, but all in all, got through it. Mother-in-law was able to take care of my son while my wife and I rested. Wife got super sick throughout the day. I thought we might have to go to the ER. Uh, luckily, um, my son only threw up once, but he was just miserable throughout the day. And I was the same. Like, um, I would say I had a, had a headache um, as bad as when I had COVID. Like, the headache was just, like, awful. It was just uh, eight. We get nothing for eight. Let's see. Can't do much after this. Let's see. I focus up. It could build over to get the ore port. Something that could happen. Again, I still need access to more uh, sheep for cities and such and devs. But yeah. So it took the week then to recover. And um, all the while, I've been trying to uh start like a little pokemon card like reselling business like uh, i always wanted to collect pokemon cards as a kid never really had enough money to consistently buy the cards and such so i nixed that hobby a while ago but now lately as an adult i've been getting into it like i bought a couple of the pokemon games on my nintendo switch uh with the full intention of you know playing a couple of nintendo switch games with my son when he's old enough or if he's ever interested um, but yeah, getting back into Pokemon right now, and I remembered that I liked the Pokemon card game that was on the Game Boy, or was it Game Boy Advance? One of those. Uh, game Boy Color, probably. So I played that back then, and getting back into it now, so much fun. Just collecting the cards, and now they have an app that you could actually play uh, the Pokemon game on. Uh, you know, totally free. I mean, obviously, you could buy cards and such, but I, I just enjoy, like, uh, trading card games like i liked Yu-Gi-Oh. uh i'm currently enjoying pokemon i was thinking about getting into uh maybe magic the gathering uh maybe playing some of those games on this channel let me know what you guys think if you guys are interested in seeing something other than Catan, uh might bring one of those over not sure which one yet uh probably pokemon or i've never played magic but i'm really interested to see what that's like so maybe i'll download it play the tutorial and such but yeah, if you guys are interested in this channel turning into something other than a Catan channel, then maybe I could be more uh, consistent with it. As of right now, if it stays as a Catan only channel, uh, then we're heading into summertime. Summertime is going to be busy with vacations and such, so uh, I'll probably upload like one video a week, uh, probably on Thursdays. Uh, seems to make the most sense. Uh, for my schedule and everything because ultimately summertime I just kind of want to relax hang out with the family uh, whenever I'm not working on um, the other YouTube channels so yeah it, the reason I keep coming back to this channel because I, I worked so hard for this channel like I really went through and enjoyed the grind of playing Catan and Catan's still like my favorite board game I enjoy it so much it's just a matter of time and um when you're like a first time dad you just want to go through all the stages of everything watching them grow up and like wanting to be there for the big moments and even even the little moments so i i love this game i i love what i do for uh my youtube channels and such but sometimes i just have to pick and choose and that's that's when me uploading on this channel kind of falls short sometimes. Well, when I say sometimes, like lately, like obviously when he was like a newborn and before he was born, it was a lot easier. I had a lot more time uh, to be able to dedicate to this YouTube channel and all of my other work endeavors, but it's not, it's not like that anymore, sadly. So I could see, Someday, if like maybe I stop uploading altogether, which like on this channel, um, unless you guys want to accept like other games and such, because 
I don't know. It's just it's just really hard. And um I keep yeah, this this is just gonna be mostly for the commentary, obviously, because uh this gameplay is not working out in my favor here. Um But yeah, I, I love gaming. I uh always thought that I'd have time to game, but adult life full time job and yeah, I consider my YouTube channel like my, my part time job that like requires a lot of hours um, between all of the other ones. But if you guys, if I ever do stop uploading on this channel, feel free to check out uh, some of my other ones. Like I said, I currently have a series about reselling Pokemon cards. If you guys are interested in watching that, seeing what I'm up to, uh, links to that playlist will be in the description and probably the pinned comment because that's where I'm dedicating most of my time right now. For uh, for YouTube related things. Okay, we gotta stop red here. Let's see. How can we hurt you the most? You're at three for one. Mm, building up. Okay, you got blocked there. I would say let's just do this. Deal from you. Okay, where else do I need to go? Mm, let's say, yeah, let's start. Whoops. Actually, is the bot willing to trade? Wanna make this trade happen? Okay, bot says no. Uh, let's just do this and head up there ourselves. Okay. But yeah, you know, I thought I'd get a little real with you guys in terms of um what's like managing my time uh during this stage of life. Um but yeah. So that in a nutshell is where I've been, uh what's been going on. Another thing that's been getting me kind of down on Catan is, like I said, Catan Universe is my preferred platform. And what's been discouraging as of the last few months is uh, Catan Universe has been essentially unplayable. Uh, I know they're, they come up with, with fixes now, but the ranking system is still messed up. Like, I don't know what my rank is. Uh, I tried going through the leaderboards. It says I'm a grandmaster with zero games played, and my ELO is like a thousand, which doesn't doesn't make sense so it, it's hard when you know you have no control over uh the platform in which you're playing the game that you want to play like obviously i know colonists is out there but like i said i just the user interface i'm just not a huge fan of um i know that that getting sheep has been an issue for them so let's just do that I know I could learn, but like I said, with the limited amount of time I have now, I just, yeah. I, I know it probably sounds like I'm just making up a bunch of excuses, but I mean, to me, they just seem extremely like valid in terms of uh, where I'm allocating my time that uh, I'm spending on business-related things, YouTube-related things. So, yeah. As of right now, I have uh, it planned that I'm going to maintain this weekly uploading schedule for Catan videos on uh, Thursdays, uh, just because like, everything I mentioned before, summertime, family, and you know, you just got to prioritize things. Uh, could I get a city out of this? No, well, I was really hoping for... Oh. Okay, and we know that red isn't going to help us out. Counter. What's the counter? Hold on. Wait, what? Okay, so yeah, Catan Universe is still broken. I don't... I don't know what you're trying to do there. Like, you want me to resend it? Like, it was glitching out there, I think. Because it sent me a counter, but that was the exact same offer that... Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that that's not gonna happen. Kind of need that. Okay, eight. Nothing for eight. But yeah, it's, it's just like, you know, how real it is to be an adult. Like, uh, I was thinking about, or I saw a meme the other day, and it kind of hit me like hard. Like, uh, I used to play Halo Three, all the Halo games on the Xbox 360, and then like, you know, you had your dedicated, like, online friends. And uh, one day, one by one, they all kind of start dropping off. Like, obviously, uh, they're, they moved on to bigger, better things. 
uh, you know, starting families, getting full-time jobs. Like they, they can't just hop on and grind Halo for, um, you know, this makes the most sense for like four, five, six hours a day going late night gaming into playing competitive matches and that type of thing. Those were the good old days. Even just like with the Call of Duties and uh, League Play and uh, MLG matches and that type of thing. I did miss, I do miss that. You know, trying to really get better at a game competitively, competitively, uh, just grinding hours with the your same squad and everything. But I'm sure uh, if I go on my Xbox now and look at my friends list, there's going to be people that haven't been online for like, you know, months, years. So, yeah, it's just, it's just real. Being an adult, maybe... Ooh, hey, wait, no. Send that offer again. Send, send it again. Maybe I could just turn this into, like, a commentary podcast channel at some point. Like, just uh, whatever random video game I might be playing, just do some commentary over it and just pick random topics that I see on the internet and just talk about it. Because I know YouTube has that podcast feature now, so doing gameplay commentaries might be fun. I used to enjoy doing that back in the day and uh, I enjoy talking and um, we just come over here to vent and whatever about talk about life, general things going on in the world that, you know, obviously don't want it to get too political because uh, obviously you're going to alienate, alienate somebody, whether uh, you agree with them or not. Personally, I, I said, I just don't want to get too political, but personally, I just think it, it's all corrupt. Both sides. Both sides corrupt. Like, you got your far far left and then your far right. And at some point, you just don't identify with either side. And it's just like, well, you, you guys are all bickering. I'm just kind of here like, hey, <laughs> hanging out. Um, but yeah. Not not getting too political in any of those commentaries, I don't think, because that's just going to start useless drama in the comment section where people are just barking at each other. And I see that enough on Facebook. I don't need to see that on YouTube as well. Seven, part of the reason I stopped using uh, Facebook as much is because there's just nonstop arguing about whatever nonsense. Okay, five, we get order for five. You know, Red isn't running away with this as quickly as I thought, so we might we might have a chance. So if I build up here, get the ore uh, port and uh, city up on the six deuce, and just uh, start taking a bunch of ore, buy dev cards. Um, let's see. Yeah, no one's going for army yet, so we let's do it. Let's focus up. I know I've just been uh, you know jabbering away here, but okay, let's just uh. Let's do that. Get ready for our next placement. If we do that, get ore. Okay, yeah, we're we're gonna be in a good spot. Five, we get double ore for five. Yeah, ore for wood. Hmm. How about oh I can couldn't even make the counter there. Okay, but at least they went quick with it. Uh eight. We get nothing for eight. Hmm. We take this, where else could we go? Yeah, the wheat port would be useless for us. Nine. Okay, getting some more wood for nine could do a four for one or for something trade in order to get what we need to get our settlement on this uh, deuce five here a four okay getting double ooh double wheat for four okay okay hmm so we could go for a city uh let's see what do people what do you want bot want for this I do do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll make that trade. Oh, wait, hold on. What was it? Damn. Okay. This is what I wanted to do. Why can't I? Okay. And then we'll do this. Okay. So getting this settlement. Okay. The reason I chose to do that now is because we have the resources to, to get the settlement. And I'm going to acquire more ore anyway, so why prioritize the ore right now when I don't have the ore um, port? So that's why I chose to do it that way. 
So now we can collect all the ore we need. Six deuce is gonna be our next spot that we city up uh, in order to utilize the ore port and devs after that. And we should be on easy street. Eight, we got nothing for eight. Hmm. We just have to keep slowing down red, which yeah, there's currently blocked on ore, so which is great. Uh, what they could do at some point is go for, well, they have longest road, so that's not concerning to them. Uh, three, yeah, nothing for three. Oh my goodness. All right. Hmm. Good steel road from them. Uh, five. Okay. Getting some ore for five. Yeah. It's totally something we could do. Do we want to steal it from them? Let's see. Uh, we could, we could steal it from them for a little bit. Uh, so if we're scared that they're going to win one, two, three, four, so we could build two roads over here. Yeah, totally within the realm of possibility. Okay, getting some up there. Purple, we're not too concerned about. Really concerned about red's uh, intake right now. This is not 12 cards. Five once again. Okay, getting some more ore and wood. Okay. So, yeah, we could definitely do it. Um, okay, so they're going to focus up on cities here. So yeah, let's let's take road away from them. That'll put us at seven and them at five. Ooh, okay, but they're in a very good position to maintain road, but this might delay the game a little bit, which would be ideal. But then they had to build one, two, three, four, four roads. They'll waste the resources to do so. Hmm. It also let's do a two for one tree. Eh. We'd have to use up all the ore that we have. Can't get cities right now. Hmm. Cost to do a four for one by dev. Get us closer to army. But by then I feel like they might they might win. Yeah, a lot of a lot of routes that we could go. But maybe taking road this turn. Uh should be our, our play. Even the even if it is temporary. Um, okay. Let's do this. 12. Okay, we get nothing for 12. Yep, but they get wood. Could do one. Mm. What else do they need to do? We could just start the journey for devs. So, yeah, let's let's do that. By dev. Where are we at? Ooh, victory point. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Um, let's just sit on this. Sit on this ore, and then we can decide what we want to do uh, in terms of two for one trades. So let's see, nine, we get wood for nine. Okay, nice. And the reason I did the four for ones is because I didn't want such a high number of cards as opposed to doing two for one uh, ore trades because the risk of seven up. Summoning out was high, and I do have decent wood production, so that's why I wasn't super concerned. And more ore for two for one's better for me, anyways, than just one uh, four for one trade for wood. Okay, you're plenty. Where are you heading? Uh, ideally, I would love for you to cut off red, cut off red here. Oh wait, I could do that, but then I'd be wasting resources. Ooh, okay, purple coming in here. Uh, 10. Ooh, getting some wooden brick. Okay, okay. Hmm. Where are you going now? Let's see. Okay. Let's roll here. We get a three. Okay, getting nothing for three here. Hmm. Okay, we're going to need a little bit of assistance, so let's see if they're willing to help us out and block them, but we'll see. All right, so let's take road this turn. Mm, okay, so once we do that... Uh, is there a way we can get this? Come on, somebody. Mm, I should have did it before. Dang, I kind of goofed here. Okay, so yeah, they're not... Not willing to make this trade right now, which is totally understandable. Dang. Okay. 
I was hoping to, you know, keep that and then build twice go down this way, but okay. Yeah, let's just move along. Okay, sitting at eight, six. Ooh, getting some ore for six. Okay, quick plays by green. They have five roads as well. Hmm. I could I could build another settlement. Oh man, we'll get us. Okay, five, getting some wood and ore for five. Nice. Ooh, I have enough for a settlement. I have enough for a settlement. I just have to maintain road. Shouldn't be super difficult. Maybe I should be playing the road game right now instead of trying to build the settlement. But we'll see. We'll see what we end up with during our turn. So yeah, now they have to waste resources to maintain road. Okay, lumber and wool for ore. Okay, so they're not focusing up on trying to reclaim road right now, which is surprising. Okay, going for the city. Okay, okay. That that makes sense. Okay, so let's roll here. Ah, oh, dang, 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 dang. Okay. Hmm. Dang, okay. Do that. And obviously we want to target red, but that, the fact they don't have any cards makes it difficult. So we want to hit red and perp at the same time. Let's do this. Okay. See so yeah, how we still could get the settlement here. Yeah, let's do it. Do that. Okay. Sitting at nine. Just need to build two more roads in our settlement or get enough for a city. Seven is rolled. They're attacking purple. I like it. Keep that up. And uh, red isn't in a good position right now to build roads to take longest away from us. So that's also good. Uh, something that could help them out during their rule to build more roads. Not a single number could get them both wood and brick. So we're, lo we're looking good right now. So next, next turn, ideally, I would have enough resources to build um, more roads, but we know how that is. Okay, so Perp is taking their time. Figure out what they're going to do. They have three cities. I'm still shocked that no one is really buying devs right now. Nine, okay, getting some wood for us. Red also now has wood. So, yikes. Okay, so now all red needs is either an 11 or an 8 to take road away from us. That's not going to be good. I thought that purple rolled already, so I was thinking, oh, they just have one roll and they're not going to get it. Let's see, 8 or 11. Or <laughs> yeah, and there you go. There goes longest road for us, and they're going to. Build two here, probably. Yep. They get going up to nine. That is, that is unfortunate. And yeah, we're not going to be able to claim that back in a good way. So all they need to do then is build one more settlement here, and they have the victory. Five, we get some orange wood. Hmm. Do this. Try catching up. We'll see, we'll see. 11, oh my goodness, getting more brick. Ah, oh, dang. Did they ever get more wood than two? They get wood. Yeah, we're, we're kind of done for. It's, like I said, they just need that settlement at this point. So, uh, seven, all right, you need to steal from red. You, you see that, right? Should. You should see that. But who knows? Who knows if you do or not? Uh, do we do we believe? Oh, still from red, still from red. Yes. Okay, we need a ten. We need a ten, five, ten or five, seven, seven by red. They're gonna steal from. Uh, oh wait, oh they need a wood. If they take it from us, there's. Dang, they're gonna steal wood. Yep. 
maintain longest. All they need to do is build right here, and then they can connect to themselves. Green, we need to, uh, to like block them. That's not going to happen. Or the, at this point, it's looking for resources to build their last settlement. This is not not ideal. It's all right though. Oh, they they're holding out. Eleven. Uh, yeah, that's not not helpful for us. So more than likely. Purple and I are going to tie, or they might take the second place here. 10. Okay, now we get the resources we need for wood or for roads. I'm recording this at like, uh, it's almost 1 a.m. Only time I actually had to record. 8. Yeah, okay. I think purple has it, or not purple, red has it this turn. Oh no, still had fun. Ooh, ooh. Oh, blocking them. Um, even though I think it's too late, it's too late. They have the settlement. Five. Okay. Yeah. Wooden or settlement plop right here. It's over. I'm pretty sure they have all that they need. Three brick for. Yep. There it is. All right. Well, that was fun. Uh, second place. Yeah. Now I'm saying my rank is bronze. He was at eleven sixty three. Yeah. Ranking is still messed up. Yeah. Everyone. Everyone here is bronze. But yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to if you check out my uh, Pokemon series. I'll leave a link in the description below. And as always, shout out to the channel members, Marcus McCusker. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.